Hello everyone and welcome to uh, first in what I hope to be a series of uh, short videos on our bug eye project. Uh, we have 1959 Austin Healy Sprite and uh, if you watched our earlier video you'll get an overview of uh, what we started with. We're going to be over the winter working on mechanical and metal work. I do have a heater in the garage but it won't be warm enough to do uh, body filler and paint and that that'll have to wait till the spring. Plan right now is to uh, remove the engine, transmission, drive shaft, and rear end, and get it uh, body mounted up on uh, a couple of stands that I've fabric got ready to go. As you see these here, uh, the back well, there'll be a two by six going across here that will mount in the tail light holes. This panel here will mount between the radiator supports, and much like in these photos here, so. You can see uh, the panel between the rad supports there and then at the back the 2x6 going across and uh, we'll tie the two together to make sure it's fairly stable and for that uh, some of the parts that I do have on hand I'm pretty sure we're, we're close to it having everything I have um, the side curtains although they do need some uh, the rubber parts and the Perspex needs replacing. Uh, I've got some new seat tracks here, uh, windshield posts, hood, the bonnet supports, uh, that. Yeah, I have the, uh, for both doors, I'll zoom out a bit here. Both doors, I do have the, uh, the pockets for them. Uh, both original, they need recovering, but they're in excellent shape otherwise. And, uh, uh, the dashboard, I love the little bits of archaeology here and a little bit of history. When the car was built, it was uh, blue, and it had a heater, a rev counter, windshield washer, and uh, miles per hour speedometer, and the body number is right here. This other number in a different color chalk, and it looks to be by a different writer, uh, not really sure what that is, so if anybody knows what those numbers might indicate, uh, I'd appreciate finding out. Uh, I have uh, all the gauges uh, that I need. There's um, speedometer, rev counter, fuel gauges here. I have the oil pressure and water temperature gauge in another spot. Um, there's the old, the original... Uh, brake and clutch master cylinder. It seems to be work fairly smoothly, uh, but I will be taking that apart and refurbishing that as necessary. That's the bulk of the original uh, wiring harness. I have purchased a new one uh, that will go in, and it's also had a, a wire added in for an electric fuel pump. Some of the other, I've been sorting parts out a bit, and I include, this is all the windshield washer, uh, or windshield wiper uh, stuff, motors on another shelf. But you got the little gearboxes, the wiper blades themselves. And uh, that, uh, just uh, one thing, I am going to keep this the, the tag for the body number. I'm uh, leaving that the original iris blue just, as, uh, just uh, as a bit of history, and that'll go back in its original spot. Uh, some new parts I picked up. There's a, a floor pan for the uh, passenger side there. I'm not sure if I'll need the whole thing, but there is a hole there that needs to be fixed. And up on the top shelf here is a new fuel tank, which has a new sender unit in with the brass float. Uh, in the cardboard there is the door liners. Um, on a side note, Alberta were allowed to run a year of manufacturer license plates. So with the proper paperwork, uh, those will go on the, on the car. I uh, have the heritage certificate that the previous owner picked up and it came with the car and uh, we'll do a, like a full circle in the garage here. Uh, most of the lights uh, need some work and if anybody has any tricks for getting 30 year old tape residue off uh, plastic lenses uh, I'd appreciate it. Uh, the, the big red ones there are pretty bad. Some I may not have, not, some of those I may have to replace. Door hinges a um, little bit of a funny part here. One of the hinges, they had used a nail to replace 
or sort of attempt to repair one of the hinge pins. So that is, uh, I've got uh, replacement hinges there. So I'll pick the best of the bunch that I have to go back on the car. Some of the new stuff that I've picked up, and I'll put links into to the suppliers that I've used on, on some of this stuff. Um, I've got an electric fuel pump and a spin-on oil filter adapter kit, and along with a uh, remote clutch slave cylinder uh, bleeder valve. Uh, those items are from uh, Bug Eye Guy, um, as was the, the floor pan, and then from Classic Car Geek over his inter uh, eBay store, I picked up a complete set of brake, hard brake lines and a clutch line, and those will be going in once I have the, the car up on its uh, up on the stand. So that's where we are for now, and uh, I'll keep you posted. Uh, can't promise how regular these will be, but as much as work as I can get done. And as I said at the early in the video, first thing uh, next on the list is to get the drivetrain uh, pulled out, and we'll have a look at that. Um, and a note on the engine, it does turn over over smoothly by hand without the spark plugs in. So I'm not 100% uh, decided yet whether or not I'm going to take it apart. I will probably replace the water pump and what have you. The car's been sitting for about 35 years without fluids and what have you in it. So we'll, uh, we'll, we'll proceed with caution on that and... Uh, but hopefully we'll be think oh one of the other things I bought new is I have a new uh, heater valve uh, that'll go on when the time comes and uh, the previous owner also picked up a uh, a refurbished uh, steering wheel can't zoom out far enough so that'll be going on the car as well